Hey guys, I hope you are all really well and that I've had a lovely Easter even though we've all had to stay inside despite the glorious sunshine. And in light of Easter, I just want to share a few thoughts about the joy of the resurrected life that we're called into in light of all that Jesus has done for us. And instead of thinking about how we can live that, I'm literally just going to share a bit about, I think, how awesome it is. And so I'm going to read to you from Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 3 and then elaborate. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ, in accordance with his pleasure and will, to the praise of his glorious grace which he has freely given us in the one he loves. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and understanding, he made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ, to be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment, to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ. In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will in order that we who were the first to put our hope in Christ might be for the praise of his glory. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of the truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who was a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession, to the praise of his glory. Amen. Now, that passage is thick with theological goodness and we're not going to squeeze all the juices out of it right now but I've just got a few points to pull out. The first thing I think that can bring us joy from this resurrection life is the fact that we have mercy. We have had our sins forgiven in verse 7, the redemption through his blood. That really means that every time we uh, wake up there is new mercy every morning. We get to live in that. In Romans, Paul says there is now no condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. How often do we condemn ourselves even though God is not, no longer condemning us? Number two is grace. Instead of our sins, we have been given rich blessings. In this passage alone, there are probably about five different things that we've been given as a gift. These free gifts of God, these graces. We have uh, it talks about every spiritual blessing has been given us this rich inheritance and all of these things are not given to us begrudgingly by God but freely lavished on us this is a picture of plenty and just glorious generosity number three is adoption we are his family we have access to God as children just like uh, Prince George or Princess Charlotte would approach maybe even the Queen, but certainly Prince William. I'm not very good on my royals. In in the way that is comfortable and and bold and intimate, we can approach God, the King of the Universe, in that way rather than just as some kind of subject. We can have that closeness and access to Him. All of these things are really good news, and they're things we've heard before, but. Yeah, I just love for the joy of these three things to to reawaken in us and to to hit home again. So I'm just going to pray for us. Um, I pray peace and protection over everyone who is watching this video. And along with David in Psalm 51, we just pray, Jesus, would you restore to us the joy of your salvation? Would you reveal to us again in a fresh way what you've done for us and the joy of the life that comes with knowing you? and walking in the patterns of life that you have for us. Amen. Mm -hmm.